I hate walnut trees. I've said it before and <laughs> I'm telling you, I know it's great wood. I know I should appreciate having the wonderful, huge, beautiful walnuts on my property, but I can't stand them. <laughs> I've got to get out here and get these raked up. I'll tell you guys what I'm gonna be doing with them. And we got a little story time to catch up on. is out back mowing the back pasture like the back back pasture that we rarely ever mow but a few times a year I did have a chat with them beforehand and said are you gonna mow it all down should we leave some for hunting lanes this year for the fall so we'll see what he comes up with but yes so walnuts I guess grow like in if I remember right, like a five year, seven year cycle. And last year wasn't a bad year at all. We were able to just leave them on the ground and let them do their thing. They didn't get too much in the way. Well, last week when we had the rehearsal dinner here, a couple of course elderly grandparents are here and it's like a serious safety hazard for somebody that doesn't have sure footing. Um, I've almost rolled my ankles many times on them and I will tell you, there's so many wonderful things that you can do with black walnuts. Make your own stains, harvest the nuts, etc., etc. All of those things are a pretty significant process. And not something that is a desired um, harvest that we want to have on our property. Or, um... I just have higher priorities, you know, with the garden and the animals and everything. So that being said, I really should not be spending my time this afternoon harvesting walnuts. I'm going to just feed these to the pigs, by the way. I really need to be in my garden. And I don't want to be in my garden. It's that time of year and this, I just, I'm sharing this with you so that if you feel the same way, know that if we're all honest, the majority of us get here at some point in the garden season, right? We start in March, it is now August and the garden kind of gets away from you. You've worked so hard to manage pests. You've been harvesting and preserving and it's just keeps going. <laughs> and after a week of family in town and festivities, I had such a hard time guys getting motivation to get back out there. I did one big harvest of like peppers and tomatoes and zucchini but there's so much else that needs to be done. We had a big storm roll through, some tomatoes got knocked down, the beans need to be pulled. I need to protect my um, fall broccoli crops from the pests because they're eating them already. And so on and so on and so on. Sunflowers are dying back, I need to feed those off to the goats. Just so much work. <laughs> And I'm looking at it right now going, oh, I'll show you. It's back there in that pretty sunset view. Maybe you can see my pretty Cinderella pumpkin hanging on the fence. It is still very much a beautiful place to be. And I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm tired. And I'm going to do a lot of mental motivation here over the next couple days. It's the weekend, so I've got a mental break from work. I made myself do a bit today with canning and preserving. Tomorrow is going to be another big day. And I think I will take you guys out there with me tomorrow night. 
and we'll just assess the situation together. You guys can give me some good peer motivation. Keep going and I'm telling you the same thing. Keep going. We're almost done guys. I know for me here in Southeast Michigan, I've got two more months of good productive garden time, if that, right? So it's the end of August. I've got all of September, and if I'm lucky, all of October. So just two more months, and then we have a forced break period because we can't grow anything, and I look so forward to that forced break time. So I've just gotta just muster up the strength to push through these last two months. But. I need to finish what I set out here to do today and I'll take you guys with me and we'll go feed these walnuts to the pigs. about half of a wheelbarrow full of walnuts. So some are still green, some are old. I'm gonna carry these out to the pigs. We'll feed them off and then I'll take you guys and show you what Todd's up to. No, my butt fits just fine. <laughs> <laughs> but what you been up to besides the pigs? Yeah, that's it. Just picking up walnuts because oh. I'm avoiding the garden. <laughs> Got some more spots in the back mode. 
Normally I wait till the end of the year to mow the pasture, but if I wait this year to try to do it all, it's just gonna be a long time. Mm -hmm. And there's some spots where there's like no clover, yeah. no goldenrod, it's just weeds. So get some of that knocked out now. Yep, you're gonna leave us a couple hunting plots maybe? There's a spot right back by where we set up the deer blind. Huge bedding area. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. But I'm, I know it's like way too late to plant a food plot, but I'm tempted to try it. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't Even hurt to try. Even if they come up like little baby sprouts, I yeah. mean, the deer was still gonna eat it if it's right. not giant. Might yeah. work. Like field peas or something like that. You definitely get pea sprouts in right. time. Yeah, we might try it. That'd be fun to share with you guys how that experience works out. If you followed us last fall, you know, we tried hunting here on our land for the first time mm -hmm. unsuccessfully, but we'll try again this year. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Other than I froze so many times. <laughs> he doesn't get up early, so he took the evening shifts and I did the morning shifts most of the time. Right. But I did spend a lot of time with the bees today. Oh yeah. Um, like at least two hours, if not longer. I moved a couple hives around. I pulled all the supers off and set them out in the yard. I got a vaporizer for oxalic acid and I did the first round of treatment on all five of our hives. Mm. And what you do is you come back again in five days and you do it again, oh. five days and you do it again for five cycles, oh. which puts you at 25 oh. days. And you're basically into fall then Which, almost? It, no, it's to overlap the brood cycle oh, of the bees. okay. So that every single bee ultimately gets gets treated. Yeah, he did give me just some discouraging news though after that, that there was no honey in the supers. At mm -hmm. least they didn't feel like there was honey in right. it. The flow hive still has some, but. I'm glad that we got what we did get though. That's yeah. better than nothing. Sorry, why don't you get no. out of there? No, it's okay. <laughs> and the, um, the vaporizer for the mite treatment. I am gonna do a video on it. I didn't wanna do a video on the very first time I've ever done it. I wanna do it a couple of times, make sure I understand the process, um, and hopefully learn some tips along the way, and I'll try to share those things with you when I do a video on that, probably in 10 days, maybe. All right, yeah, just kind of working around the farm this evening and might as well talk to you while we do it. <laughs> Absolutely. So I will get back out in the garden, guys. I promise it has to be done. I've got to just put my big girl, farm girl panties on and get out there. It, prob it probably misses you more than you miss it. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for coming out, guys, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. One of these days I'm gonna learn how to drive this thing. You wanna learn right now? No. <laughs> we'll do a video about no, it. No, while you have the thing on there. Oh, we'll do a whole nother video? No, we'll do a video on it sometime. I'll teach oh. you. It's like, no, it's like really, really, really easy it to drive. It doesn't look easy. I almost wrecked your lawnmower.